Well, the nigga, 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 out of peaches and riri i'm talking about the super improved incredible hunk nigga is coming out of peaches and riri guess what they tried to do to me <laughs> they tried to steal my secrets from Houston and getting money and they can't get it from me because they're too fucking dumb and they wanted to beat my ass <laughs> I'm, I'm not making this shit up they took me back to when i was like 12, and I was too young to run away from my crazy ass mother. And I had to take them ass whoopings. You know, just got beat the fuck down. They was looking at me like that today, okay? Because um, you all know that you have a lot of different services out here that handles the pandemic differently based on the laws of each city and state in America, right? And uh, curbside service, you know, you have some employees handle that. Some places don't have curbside service. Some you can come in and eat, you know, sit out, eat, and leave, you know. Or you got some where you can come in, or if you don't got time to come in and you want to swoop on by and get the curbside service and pick up and go on about your business, you know, or they got delivered, they got all three. All right. So, <clears throat> I'm, uh, you know, enjoying myself. And, of course, usually, most of the time, a black person is working at a restaurant, you know what I mean, a grocery store, you know. So, whatever's going on, they're, you know, they're doing it. So, this was a curbside service. And <clears throat> I'm sitting there enjoying myself, eating like a motherfucker, fucking some shit up, you know, and doing my thing. And of course, you know, a little time went by, about a good two hours, they was mad as a motherfucker. Now, according to them, it's my fault that they got to bust their ass to do curbside service, you know. So uh, apparently they made some phone calls and shit and, you know. Cause you know how peaches and Riva are. They real, you know, doo doo, shit in the diaper, skanky, untrusted, worthy ass uh, men with fucking funky ass yeast infection, gonorrhea, uh, syphilis having ass bitches. Okay, so he made some calls and shit and they was trying to come up on me and see what I was doing, peeking behind my back. And again, I'm from the hood, so I could detect bullshit. I could detect a scam in the making, you know. And uh, so I turned around and I broke my shit down. I'm like, oh, I'm out. So I went to the bathroom and I came back out. Do you know where I was sitting at? Both of them were sitting in that spot looking at me like, motherfucker, you ain't going to talk. But you ain't sitting back here. You know, and I'm just like, okay, you know, I don't care. Fuck y'all, you know. See what it is, you know, Pookie and Ray Ray is dead. Yeah, Pookie and Ray Ray dead. They ain't coming back. Oh, you see, because Pookie and Ray Ray, they, was, they only exist through uh, Section 8, right? Uh, food stamp bridge card, right? Or, you know, working a job. Um, and then when it's time to uh, file income tax, you know, there's always plenty of black females that got gangs of baby kids out of wedlock to claim on taxes. And they get all freshed up and shit. The badass whip get it kitted out. You know, he come to work to he that nigga, right? But see, them, oh, that's gone now. It's gone for good. So, you know... Pookie and Ray Ray breasts be stinking. They be funky. Shoes be stinking. Clothes don't be smelling too cool. And Peaches and Riri, they ran out of dish detergent washing them panties every other day. Because, you know, most a lot of people don't work 40 hours. You know what I mean? They may work a few days a week or maybe a couple of days a week. And she done ran out of soap, uh, dishwashing dish liquid. And them panties are starting to fam meow meow. And it's my fault that she don't got no money. 
Okay. So what I'm seeing is not just not only the general public, but Peaches and Riri is starting to get upset with my fucking brothers like myself and shit, you know. They were the way down upon the Spawny River. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And hello, boys and girls. My name is Barney. Bitch, fuck you, okay? Barney that, bitch. See, and the shit is getting mad because they're like, you know what? He's an intellectual guy, but the more you try to scheme on him, the more he shows that he's from the hood. Like I said, I grew up with no gas, no water, no electricity in the wintertime more than once. You can't get no hoodier than that. Okay. And they starting to see this shit, and it's starting to really, 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 really make them the fuck mad. Well, they want to, you know, whoop my ass. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> get down. And I'm like, well, I'm, you know, I ain't going to tell you shit. You know, so if you kill me, then I, I'm going to just die with the secrets. You still ain't going to get it because I'm not helping you. Okay. Remember all that shit y'all used to talk? You know, when a, when, a, when a good brother was a good brother to a no good ass, bitch ass black female. Okay. So, you know, hey, you, you can't say that life did not give you a chance, you know, to have a good guy or good man, you know. But see, now all that shit done dried up. You know, when you wash your clothes, you know, and they wet. And you throw them in one of them dryers where once it's dry, the, the clothes are so hot, they burning your motherfucking fingers and shit. You trying to fold them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, it didn't dry up like that. And now, whose fault is it? Ours. Ours. No, bitch. So, yeah, Peaches and Riri, yeah. They on some nigga, 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 incredible hunk nigga shit. Yeah. And I'm just like, uh, <laughs> hey, well, hey, you just got to deal with it. You know, like y'all always would tell us, you know, suck it up, you know, <laughs> man, yeah. I'm like, suck it up, bitch. Uh, but yeah, man, woman up. Because, you know, a lot of masculine is a motherfucker. I can't help you, you know, and I'm not going to help you, you know, figure this shit out. Y'all always both. What the fuck you walking over here for? Anyway, like I was saying, and then you still like I, going through this shit with uh, grandpa, granddaddy, gramps, pops. These motherfuckers still trying to get a dick. Yeah. A lot of older black men are gay as a motherfucker. They trying to find a boyfriend. You remember that song by uh, uh, Bobby Brown? I need a girlfriend. These motherfuckers. No, nah, I, want, I want some dick in my ass. I want a dick in my mouth. Yeah. Cause while I was cutting this, the motherfucker was walking this way, and I looked like, what the fuck you walking this way for? You better take your little gay, gray hair, have him wheelchair, cane walking ass on, nigga. This world is fucked up, but yeah, Peaches and Riri, they was about to beat my ass. Now, I know I make a lot of videos about, oh, I almost getting fucked up by him, and that shit is getting closer and closer. Because they like, nah, oh, so you just ain't going to tell us. No, fuck y'all. Told you, bitch, this ain't motherfucker. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones that make a better day. So let's start giving. No, bitch, here go my version. I'm out for myself. And fuck you, bitch. I am the one that's looking out for myself. So, bitch, you better get to step in and fuck you, bitch. It's a choice I've making, and bitch, I'm saving my own life. It's true, you better figure out a way, cause fuck you, bitch. Yeah, ow, get down. So uh, stay tuned, put your comments in the comments section. I want to know, are you going through the same thing in your area? Not just with Peaches and Riri, or the dying Pookie and Ray Ray, but just the general public. By them ignoring Agenda 21. Commonly called the New World Order. Ow! Get down. Don't you go anywhere.